this is always my favorite part of the video, um, because the previous part doesn't tell me much, but I like to do it anyway. I'm going to test this suite against some links. Malware. So I have a couple things here. This first one just happens to be Virat. Okay, it doesn't work. So it detects it, the antivirus engine detects it. I'm going to block the access. So whether I run or not, it will not get anywhere. This is an exploit, a flash exploit. And without updating my flash, it's easier to get exploited with flash. Although, I don't happen to know if this is working. If I take a look at my processes, I don't happen to see anything loading in or any uh, processes. So, I'm going to keep going here. So, the antivirus again detects it. I'm going to block access. And if I run... I don't see anything in my task manager. This is the file I had on my desktop. Um, and that just happens to get through, yet I can block it from accessing the internet. Therefore, maybe it's on my PC wreaking havoc, but at least it can't send my information. Okay. I'm going to block access again. If I click run, it's not available for detection. I mean, just running, it can't run. Again, it detects it. If I click run, it can't find the file. That doesn't work either. I'm noticing that the antivirus application is picking up every single one of these. and the anti-spyware isn't doing anything. Block again. If I run, nothing happens. This is a rogue. And I'm probably going to have to restart my browser after this. So, ooh, it looks like I'm infected. <laughs> Guess I'll have to download this product. It must be better than what I've got already. So it's going to comp be complete soon. Here we go. Well, it detects it. Calls it a tr slash dropper dot gen. To me, it looks like, it looks a lot like, um, 
Avira's naming. I don't know if it's just me. But it almost looks like I don't I don't know if they're using their own engine or another engine. So I have to find that out. This looks like an exploit. There's something extra here. I'm not sure what it is. But it's probably one of those things it didn't detect earlier. I'm out of malware, and I have more time. So I'm going to pause the video and get a little more, and then go from there. Wow. I have to laugh a little bit. It turns out I've just been testing Avira's engine because a shampoo antivirus uses Avira. So I'm going to quit this, the antivirus, because I want to see if their anti-spyware picks up anything. Well, it looks like the anti-spyware is doing nothing. And my system here is just getting eaten. It's that easy. You miss one infection, and then you have weird things showing up in your taskbar. And I noticed that Nothing is being detected without the Avira engine sitting in here and catching everything. This is just great. I cannot put up with this much longer. This is like, I've just been... This is just ridiculous. Um, so, that's the result of this test. The antivirus engine, Avira, detects pretty much everything. The anti-spyware detects nothing. And the firewall can only be used to block stuff from accessing the internet. So thanks for watching. I'm going to upload these now.